Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a short video on uh, smart charging systems uh, and my dual battery setup and how I've overcome the, the issue of the smart charging system working with a voltage sensing relay. Um, voltage sensing relays aren't the best way uh, to set up a dual battery system on a late model car with a smart alternator. Uh, obviously a DC to DC charger is better, but they're also a lot more expensive. Um, so in a future video I will get a DC to DC charger, but for now this is just the, uh, the voltage sensing relay and how I've set it up. So, essentially with a smart alternator or a smart charging system, whatever you want to call it, the vehicle management system um, monitors the, the charge rate and the current um, and once it deems that the battery is full, it will ramp the, the voltage back. Um, so it basically effectively is turning the alternator off to save fuel, get better fuel economy. Um, so what that means is instead of charging at 14 plus volts, um, it'll actually let it drop down to you know anywhere almost 12.8 volts or just under. Um, the effect of that is, when you're driving along, your, uh, your voltage sensing relay, which connects your auxiliary battery to your main battery, is my auxiliary battery in here. Uh, once it drops below 12.8 volts, the relay down here, the voltage sensing relay, it will go open circuit and stop charging the battery. You can see it's charging now, the green charging lights on um, so yeah all right so we'll have a look here I have a little voltmeter in my cabin which tells me I'm my main battery and my auxiliary battery you can see right now my because the vehicle's only just been started um, it's, it's still trying to replace the charge of cranking the, the vehicle, so I'm sitting up at 14 volts. Um, after 10 minutes or so, that'll drop down to probably 12.8 volts or so. And the effect of that will be is that voltage sensing relay in the back, which is joining the auxiliary battery to the main battery, um, that, that relay will go open circuit and that battery will stop being charged. Um, so what you, what you get is your auxiliary battery basically only receives you know 15 minutes of charge when you first start the vehicle and uh, not much after that um, so now we'll pause the video here I'll run the car until that voltage drops down and then we'll I'll, I'll, I'll give you a look at what happens when that voltage drops down and we'll, we'll go from there all right so you can see here that where the voltage just dropped down 2.5 and the auxiliary is at 13. So effectively, effectively what that's going to do is uh, the voltage sensing relay is going to open the circuit and the, um, the auxiliary battery is not going to be receiving charge. Um, so there's a few things you can do to overcome that. Um, in this particular vehicle, the uh, Nissan Navara D40, um, there is a way to disable the smart charging system, which just makes the uh, alternator go back to a regular type of alternator um, and just operate at, uh, with, the, with the internal voltage regulator, keeping it just over 14 volts most of the time. So we'll hop under the bonnet and I'll show you how you can do that. So here we are looking under the bonnet. Um, so the way the management system uh, monitors what's going on, aside from the battery voltage, um, there's an inductive amp meter on the negative battery terminal here and that lets it monitor the current, um, which is very important. That's how it manages the system. So this plug here, I'll unplug that. And that literally just makes it revert back to 
a regular old charging system. It just uses the internal voltage regulator in the in the alternator, which lives down there. Um, you know, and that just keeps the basically keeps the voltage up just over 14 volts. Um, that way, the voltage sensing relay is always going to stay closed, and the auxiliary battery is going to receive charge any time the car's running and it's charging. Um, now there is another way. I don't. I would. I, I don't plan to leave this like this. That's. I'm not like just having plugs disconnected. So, in this junction box here, lift this up. Um, this front plug here. This green wire. Disconnecting that wire will disable the smart charging system in a Nissan Navara D42.5 turbo diesel. Um, so I think what I'll probably do is put a switch in that wire. I might just leave it here. I might mount it under the, in the cabin. Um, so during the week when I'm driving to work, I might keep running the smart charging system, you know, in the hope of saving some diesel uh, on the weekends when I'm using the, the fridge or camping or whatever. I'll, I can then turn that, open circuit that, which will in turn make sure that my auxiliary battery always receives charge. Um, so yeah, I don't know uh, on other vehicles, but there, I'm sure there'd be a similar way to do that. All right, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel for further videos. In the, in the future, I will have a review on a DC to DC charger, how I've wired all that up um, and done away with the voltage sensing relay. Um, I'm also going to have a video coming up on these, I think they called it a G shackle or a double acting shackle. It's actually improved the ride of the, of the vehicle a lot. And I'm also going to do a review on these cheapish eBay lights that I got. Um, I'll measure the, the current, how much current they pull, we'll work it out mathematically, wattage, and see if that equals what the, the online seller claim they put out. But I can say they work very well, um, they're very bright. Anyway, thank you and subscribe to my channel. If this has been informative, please give my video a thumbs up, and give it a like, and share it around. So, thank you.